All right, welcome back. My name's Doc, and uh, thanks for joining me. For those whose first time it is, uh, I hope you enjoy tonight's presentation. Um, there's a whole lot going on right now tonight, huh? Shooting in Fort Hood, uh, among other things, uh, and that is just all over the airwaves, and the, and the noise they're making about it is absolutely ridiculous for a lone gunman or possibly a Muslim terrorist. Those are the only two options right now that went nuts. And they're doing everything they can to just blame that on a gun owner with stress. And that is so that they can take your guns from you. Okay, and I'm going to get into why that is going on here in just a little bit, right? Because that's a major piece of their plan is to take your guns. And they're trying to figure out how to spin this lone gunman into a way to legislate away your right to own a weapon. So you need to be very careful about that because if you notice, that's all these politicians are talking about is how this one man with a couple of guns did all this damage. Folks, that one man can do that much damage with guns is a good thing, not a bad thing. It, it just happens to be a bad thing that this person did that to these people, these innocent people here, as an act of terrorism. That's what happened. Not even terrorism, really revenge, possibly for, you know, uh, uh, whatever he considers his personal problem that's going on. But I want to get into the real reason why I think they're hyping this so big, and that is what's going on over in western Ukraine. Okay, now since last Friday when they reported 3,000 cases of a mystery illness, it has now turned into about 200,000 cases. Man, that ain't very many days, folks. That's a week. Okay, doubled, doubled, and doubled again, and now 60 people are dead. And it's, it's uh, hemorrhagic or pneumonic fever or plague. I guess those are, those are the same. And I, and I want to put in here too, right, that the vaccinations can cause this in you. Um, what happens is, 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 is it gives you what's called a cytokine storm, that's my understanding. And a cytokine storm makes your immune system attack your own body, and so then that if another, uh, and that can kill you on its own, but if you are infected during this time, um, it can cause exactly this kind of illness in you and kill you. But I want to get into, uh, see this, this was predicted. The place that this happened and when it was going to happen by, was, was predicted by uh, a, a guy, uh, a last name of Mosh, Mosh or Moshi. Uh, he's, uh, he, he was actually arrested back in August, uh, uh, I guess a short, uh, uh, a short ways away from the Israeli embassy because he had called into the radio shows, and I got some clips here to show you, to say that he could connect the vaccinations, basically Jane Burgermeister's story, right, about how Baxter, Baxter. About how Baxter was going uh, 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 to use a uh, bioweapon on us all. Well, this guy was a Mossad uh, microbiologist, uh, apparently worked on it and got some conscience and was trying to come clean. I got a few calls, and I... I, I, I didn't take this guy seriously. I You're really talking didn't. This, talking about this uh, Moshe guy. Yeah, well, I didn't know. He said his, his name was Joseph. He's coming from L.A. But this guy said he. He says I have evidence. This this stuff is manufactured in oh, Ukraine. No. Yeah. And I and I just thought that oh that doesn't match. I don't believe that. So I didn't give him any thought. I really didn't. And well, now I now I see the story breaking. Well, pictures and I read to. It was up early this morning, literally at four in the morning, researching this, checking my contacts. And uh, my gut tells me this is real. Here's what they did to the man. On uh, last Thursday in Los Angeles, he was heading toward the Israeli embassy, and he was raped by the FBI headquarters. They literally SWAT teamed him, not just with a SWAT team, a whole damned army. They hit him with, a, with an EMP pulse weapon to knock out any communications, including PDAs he had on him. They pepper sprayed his car four times with a pepper spray cannon, Surprised that he didn't just cave, because obviously he's hardened because he's not only an American, but an Israeli, and apparently... Uh, according to the reports, he's Mossad and he's a scientist. He literally had pangs of conscience and wanted the truth out about this. He was smoking inside his little Volkswagen Beetle. There's no need to hit a man in his late 50s with these repeated weapons and an entire army around him. Then they had a robot that broke through the window, and then they tasered him and yanked him out through the windows for the car. I mean, he, he apparently, right afterwards, somehow he got out of uh, custody and he flew to Israel and he's still there. But Here's the thing about Mr. Joseph Moshi, right? See, this ha he was arrested in August when he was making these claims, when he was calling the radio show. And his claims were that a plague was going to be released by Baxter in the Ukraine. Just exactly like this one. And they SWAT teamed him and claimed he threatened the president. 
and yet they, they, they attacked him with the army, military weapons. EMP both weapons are military. So they sent the military to get one 50-year-old man in a Volkswagen that was unarmed. Blasted him with an EMP pulse, and what that does is it fries all your hard circuits. In other words, it, it fried his car so he couldn't drive, it fried all his phones, most importantly, so that he couldn't contact anyone. And then they tasered him and pulled him out so that nobody could get near him. So in August, he called the radio stations trying to tell everybody that they were going to unleash a plague in the Ukraine. And now, here's the plague in the Ukraine. Just like he said, and guess what else he said? He said he had the paperwork, and it was connected to get a load of this. This information sort of fits. I mean, there's still loose ends hanging here and there, but this doesn't look like, you know, could, could just to deploy this in the amount of troops with uh, microwave weapons and other things, that would have cost a quarter million dollars to deploy all these people and do a standoff uh, out in public near the FBI headquarters uh, for a number of hours. If I remember correctly, his his call to me was saying that he could he could tie Baxter in Chicago in with 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 contacts in the Ukraine with Obama, and he was and he had the documentation. Yeah. Arrested for threatening the president, huh? After calling all the radio shows to tell them about how Baxter was getting ready to release a a pneumonic plague in the Ukraine. Imagine that. And what do we have in the Ukraine? Pneumonic plague. And who's a massive shareholder in, in Baxter? Barack Obama. Imagine that. They've been saying for months how much he's invested in them recently. That's not even my main point, folks. We knew this was coming. Most of you had to have known this was coming. States of emergency all but declared home remedies against the law unbelievable and and instead of hearing about how in the space of a week there was a three thousand percent rise in the number of cases of this mystery illness in the ukraine and you haven't seen a peep on the news but yet on every channel from wall to wall, you got this guy who went on a shooting spree, this Muslim guy who went on a shooting spree, whether it's an op, or, an op or not, instead of hearing about this deadly flu that could kill us all, that by the way, getting the vaccine makes you more susceptible to, even you pro-vacciners know that the vaccine hurts your immune system after you get vaccinated and makes you more susceptible to disease for a minimum of two weeks. Very much more so susceptible. And it's clear that these are not H1N1. These doctors are saying that it isn't H1N1, that it is completely different. Where in the Ukraine? know when you folks are gonna wake up I literally literally pray for all of you to wake up every day every day in my mind I hope that you're gonna wake up every day in my mind I hope that you're gonna go straight to the gun store and buy a rifle and a pistol for every adult in your house and every teenager over the age of 12 and teach them how to use it I pray every day that you'll buy food, enough food, a minimum of six months per person in your household. You're just not going to make it if you don't. You better think about having water, clean water. Remember, under martial law or even a pandemic like they're having in the Ukraine, everything breaks down. Everything. There's no supplies coming in. There's nobody going to work to make things. You're not allowed to go anywhere anyone is. Trust me. The stores will be empty within minutes. There won't be anything on them shelves. Those stores look full to you today. 
We'll let there be an emergency tomorrow and watch how fast the shelves are empty. Or for that matter, to get an idea on the first of the month, first through the third, go into your local grocery store in one of your cities and look at the shelves. And if you don't live in the city, go to the city and look in one over those days. You will find empty bare shelves everywhere. And that's just from welfare check shopping. Imagine it if it was an emergency, folks. Look at your children and think about it. I can tell you all day to buy guns and learn how to use them. I can point you in the right direction of the enemy every time. But if you refuse to look that way, you're lost. You're lost. And this whole thing on the news is a smokescreen to keep you from looking in the right direction. I'm in SM Doc. I'll see you on the next round.